Hey guys, welcome to Cook with Nancy. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make the super easy and quick no kneading dinner roll. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. That way you don't miss out upcoming videos. Let's get started with this no kneading dinner roll recipe. To start off here, I have a large bowl. To this I'm adding 3 cups of all-purpose flour. If you have a bread flour, you can use that as well. It's totally up to you. And here I have 1 teaspoon of a salt. And if if you're going to add salted butter, make sure your salt in content is less when you're adding to the flour. And two and a half teaspoon of instant yeast. If you're using activist, just make sure you activate them before you add it. Quarter cup of sugar. You can add less if you want. Go ahead and mix them into the flour mixture until it's all well combined. And now in the center, make a small well. Here I have one cup of warm milk. Make sure it's just warm temperature, not too hot. And then to this, I'm also going to add soft butter. Here I have four tablespoons soft butter, four to four and a half tablespoons soft butter. It has to be room temperature. And to this, I'm also going to add one large egg, room temperature. Just make sure everything that you add is on room temperature except the milk. Go ahead and mix them well with the spatula. Now, as you know, this is a no kneading dough. So the dough is going to be a little sticky, stickier size. So don't worry about dough being sticky and don't end up adding more flour to this it has to be just a little sticky and i will show you in a bit how sticky it should be anything more stickier than that probably your measurement is a little uh, different so you have to adjust that now you can see the dough is still sticky but it's not very sticky sticky enough that it will once it is proofed it will be fine now i'm going to just cover this with the cling wrap and i'm going to put it in a warm place for an hour or two until it doubles in size if you don't have a place that is warm enough just put it in the oven with the lights on that should do the trick now after two hours my dough has doubled in size at this point i'm going to sprinkle some flour on the work surface on the flat surface and i'm going to just pull out all the dough from the side of the bowl and bring it down to the flat surface now make sure you have some flour enough flour to work with because it's going to be sticky dough just make sure you put some flour with you in your hand to work with and then go ahead and shape the balls in a medium size and go ahead and place them in a baking tray if you have a baking tray baking pan just make sure you grease them before you put the the dinner rolls into it and then again now we are going to do the second proofing go ahead and cover this with the wet towel at this time and Rest it for 40 minutes, at least for 40 minutes. After that, I'm going to brush it with egg wash. Here I have one egg and three tablespoons of milk on into the egg mixture and whisk it. And then go ahead and apply this on top of the dinner rolls. Now my oven is preheating at 350 degree. I'm going to bake this for 25 minutes. Depending on the oven temperature, it should be between 20 to 25 minutes. So just make sure in between you check the oven, your roll. And once you remove it, while still it is hot, I'm going to just take some butter. You can use melted butter and use the brush. Or just take the cube of butter and just rub it around like the way I am doing. So it should do the work since it's already warm. It should just melt right away. And let it cool completely. Right now it's not completely cooled, but I'm just going to show you guys how soft the dinner rolls are. As you can see, it's super soft. There is no difference between the kneaded uh, when we knead the dough and with without kneading the dough. It might be little... Just tiny little bit difference, but not a big difference. It tastes amazing. You can serve this as it is or with some butter. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know. I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, take care guys. Bye.